Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the processing of ceramic matrix composites. Ceramic matrix composites can be prepared or processed by conventional powder processing techniques used for making polycrystalline ceramics or by the new techniques. Some of the techniques used for the processing or the production of ceramic matrix composites are cold pressing and sintering hot pressing or slurry infiltration process, liquid infiltration, lang side process, in situ chemical reactions, liquid phase sintering and sol gel process. First, we have to discuss the cold pressing and sintering. Cold pressing and sintering is a method which involves the pressing of the mixed reinforcement and binder and then firing here this chart denotes the powder of mixture particle or whisker reinforcement binder or mixer together and pressed using a hydraulic press or some other machines and then fired that is the sintering so that we can get the near net shape process or product Problems in this cold pressing or sintering process are non-uniform mixing of the reinforcement matrix and binder due to the density difference. Consider example such that if you want to make a composite material with reinforcement of iron and copper etc. The iron particles are denser than the copper so that they can be uh, settle down while mixing such that the copper is on the top surface while the iron particles are on the bottom surface so that not even or uniform strength can be provided in the complete composite product and low volume fraction of the reinforcement this is also due to the density difference and damage of the viscous during mixing and pressing because the whisker length denotes its strength strength property of the complete product if the damage of the whisker occurs the strength losses and cold pressing of the matrix powder and fiber followed by sintering is carry over from conventional processing of ceramics in addition to this the general problem of shrinkage associated with sintering of ceramic Certain other problems arise when we put high aspect ratio that is the length to diameter ratio. Reinforcements in a glass or ceramic matrix material and try to sinter. Then the difference in the thermal expansion coefficients of the reinforcement and matrix a hydrostatic tensile stress may develop in the matrix on cooling which will counter the driving force to sintering. Thus, densification rate of the matrix will be retarded in the presence of reinforcement. Sometimes there is also a disadvantage that the matrix cannot completely wet the reinforcement. This can also bring a, bring a problem to the complete composite product. So this is a short video friends. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching